Are you thinking of switching to Linux from the Windows because of the normal issues caused in it? Or maybe people around you are talking about the Linux and its pros and so you also want to switch to the Linux operating system. So whatever the reason is, in this video I will show you exactly how you need to switch from Windows 10 or Windows 11 to the Linux. But before that I would recommend you to do a proper research first which is better than regretting after installing the Linux operating system. So first you make a note of all those applications or game you enjoy on the Windows and assure that they are compatible with the Linux or not. Because I have seen many Windows users, they regretted a lot when they switched from Windows to Linux and later they got to know they can't play their favorite game on the Linux operating system. And this is the reason I always recommend people make a note of all those favorite application and software that you would like to continue on the Linux and recheck whether you would be able to run those game in the Linux or not. And have you ever used Linux before? If not, then I would also recommend you to use on a virtual machine first rather than the real machine. And next you need to plan that how would you like to install the Linux on the Windows machine? Whether you want to go with a fresh install by fully removing the Windows or dual booting along with the Windows. And if you want to go with a dual boot, then you need to have another partition I've already created a video on this uh, dual booting the Linux with the Windows. You can watch that video if you decide to go with the dual boot. All right, so now once you know all these preparation, the so first you need to download your favorite Linux distro. I will be downloading here Ubuntu. You can go with the Kali or uh, with the Mint or whichever you want to. So for Ubuntu, I will bring up my browser and search for Ubuntu here. Click on the first website. Uh, then click on download Ubuntu from the right and top. Then click download Ubuntu desktop and then it says Intel or AMD 64 bit architecture download and it's around 5.9 gigabyte. So it may take some time. So you need to wait until the downloading is being completed. And once the ISO is being downloaded, now next you have to download the Rufus in order to create a bootable USB. So open up a new tab, search for Rufus, click on this first website here. Scroll down and click on Rufus 4.9.exe. It's a small file, so it will be quickly downloaded. Click on the downloaded file, give the permission and the Rufus dashboard will be up. Now here from the very top in the device section, it will automatically detect your USB, but still click on the drop down and make sure that you have selected the right USB that you want to make bootable. Below in the boot selection on the right hand side, click on select and locate to the destination where you have downloaded the Ubuntu ISO. Select the ISO, click on open and the rest of the things will be automatically detected here. So you don't have to make any more further changes here. Just click on start. Click on OK. Uh, all the data on the drive will be deleted. OK, so click on OK and click on OK. And now the process of creating a bootable USB will be started. So you need to wait for some time here until the process is being completed. Once it will be done, it will say ready. So you need to click on close. And if I bring up the file explorer now, so you can see our USB has been created by the name Ubuntu. And if I bring it up, all the files are been here. All right, so now we are good to go. So I will connect this bootable USB to my laptop where I want to install Ubuntu and I want to switch from Windows 11 to Ubuntu. So connect the USB, restart the computer so that we can boot with this bootable USB. Now once the computer gets shut down and the moment it comes up, you will have to tap probably the F2, F10, escape key depending on your manufacturer to change the boot priority order. On my end, I will be using the escape key and it says the startup menu and it says for boot device option, you need to press the F9 key. So I will again tap on F9. Then it shows me all the available devices to boot and I have to choose my USB here that is on the second number USB hard drive Kingston. I will select it and hit the enter key. Next, it will say try or install Ubuntu. So you have to choose this option only and hit the enter key again. And here we go. So Ubuntu is now loading up. So just wait for a few seconds here. And very quickly, you will be getting this kind of Ubuntu dashboard. Choose your language here. Click on next. Again, click on next. Keyboard layout, choose your keyboard layout. Then you have to click on next. 
Now, if you want to connect the internet right now, you can connect it. I will do that later so I can select do not connect to the internet. What do you want to do with the Ubuntu? Install Ubuntu or try Ubuntu. So still, if you want to give a try, then you can do that. But I want to install the Ubuntu here. So I will keep that selected to install Ubuntu and click on next. How would you like to install the Ubuntu interactive installation or automated? So keep this to interactive and click on next. What apps would you like to install to start with? So either you can go with the default one or extended selection, whichever you want to go, you can pick the one and click on next. Install recommended software. So yes, please check this first item. Install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. Then you have to click on next. And then you will be getting the most important step that says, how do you want to install Ubuntu? Now, why I'm getting this option? Because I already have Windows 11 on this computer. So the very first option it's giving me saying, install Ubuntu alongside Windows Boot Manager. So if you want to go with a dual boot, you can keep this option selected, but make sure you have another partition. If not, you can also create that, but it will be deleting the partition. So as I said in the beginning, for the dual boot, I have already created a video. You can check that video. As of now, we will be doing a fresh installation. So I will choose the second option. Then finally, it will ask you to create your account. So type your account name, the password that you want to pick, enter all the information, and then finally click on next. Choose your uh, time zone. So you can choose like New Delhi, Kolkata, whichever you want to. And then you have to click on next and click on install. Now this installation process may take some time, like 10 to 15 minutes, maybe five minutes, maybe more than that. So just wait until the process is being completed. And once it will be done, it says Ubuntu install and ready to use. And it might ask you to restart now. So click on restart now and let the computer get restarted. And the next time when the computer gets restarted, it will display uh, your user account so click on the user account that you have created, enter your password and boom. So you can see now that we successfully switched from Windows 11 to the Ubuntu here and it works perfectly, very smoother on this old laptop as well. So if you also want to try from Windows to Linux, go ahead and enjoy this Linux operating system. So this is exactly guys how you can switch from the Windows 10 or 11 to the Linux distro, either using the dual boot or doing the fresh installation. And that's all guys for today. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, found the information useful. If yes, please hit the like, subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.